Okay, what's up, guys? Now, uh, the channel Watch WWE, they have uploaded another video called 10 Times WWE Wrestlers Cry in the Ring. Now, yes, I have, you know, from the years of watching WWE, I have seen a lot of wrestlers cry in the ring, like from when they were getting ready to retire. Uh, like, yeah, just recently, um, Daniel Bryan. Um, did he cry? I can't remember. I think he was crying. Um, did Edge cry when he retired? I think he did. Big Show, because they had the thumbnail as Big Show. Big Show is forever. I think he hasn't cried like three, four times in the ring so far since I've been seeing him wrestling and stuff. And, uh, yeah, Ric Flair, when he retired, Shawn Michaels. Um, yeah, there's just uh, there's a lot of wrestlers that um, have cried in the ring. And it was just, yeah, it was just like an emotional sighting and stuff. So, yeah, it's, uh, when they when they cry, it's, uh, and then uh, Lillian Garcia, I think, I did, is she, did she retire? Did she, uh, or she's taking time off? Because I know they said she was, uh, I think they said her dad was sick or something. And she had to take some time off. I don't know if she retired or left. Or uh, it's just, you know, just taking time. I don't know. But I think when she, I think she had uh, said she was going to retire a while back. And she ended up coming back. But I think when she did say she can't, um, she was crying and stuff. So, yeah, her. Yeah, it's just everybody is like, you know, I think it's just like that retirement night. It's a, uh, it's a. Uh, like an emotional thing for them and things and they just can't handle it like me if i was a wrestler i probably would have been shedding some tears too if i've been doing it for years and then just like hear the crowd boo me cheer for me and things and it's just like has some like crazy moments that just pretty much like just broke like the wwe internet and stuff like it's just it would be an emotional thing but um no let's see there's probably uh, like some before like maybe in the uh 80s and the uh 90s did uh macho man randy savage and his wife i think did, um, they did when he retired. I don't know. Let's just let's just see, cause I might be uh you know there might be some uh WWE wrestlers that uh, that I don't know about or they did cry and I just don't know about it. <clears throat> Watch WWE Presents. Wrestling can get very emotional, and it's yeah. still real to some people, damn it. But sometimes those crying can <laughs> be the video. wrestlers themselves, whether they're tears of joy, anger, or sorrow. I'm D. Wicked from Watch WWE, and these are the 10 times <laughs> was, WWE. But uh, he was, because I know he was referencing to, there is this, uh, this guy, he was all, he was straight up crying in these bleachers, and he was like, wrestling is real. And it's like, dude. I feel like there might be, like, some cases of it. Like, you know, there might be, like, the, the I say the accidents. But it's, like, I don't know. I feel like that comedy side, I don't know. It's just, all like, is it really? I mean, maybe when they're hurting themselves, then yeah. But other than that, I don't know. Like, maybe back in the day. But now I just, I don't know about it being, like, you know, real and stuff. It's just, you know, because they, like, the, uh, the storylines... Seem like there's just like them storylines, like they end so quickly. Like if it like three pay per views, and after that you don't see them wrestling each other, talking about each other or anything. I'm all like, nah, we have no rival. We have no rival. It's gonna be lasting some time until we can sell it like men, handshake it, and then just move on with their lives. But nah, it's I don't know. It's just I feel like uh, um wrestling like, and then they just maybe if it was like yeah, back how it was before this whole TV PG thing, like maybe how it was back like in the early 2000s in the 90s and stuff. Then yeah, it would probably seem uh, real. But now I don't know. I don't know what WWE is now. It's trying to be out TV PG and they still be showing wrestlers bleeding, jumping off of ladders, getting beaten up and jumped and stuff. Like you really thought it was a TV PG moment when uh, Nexus had attacked the whole everybody, like the um, announcers, the referees, tore the match up and stuff. Then when uh, cause they showing Roman Reigns. Then when he was um, it was him and um the shield and then they tore up everything like you really think that's tv pg wwe come on now like really you wrestlers cried live on air number 10 big, big show. show very often <laughs> yeah he's a big man he weeps big tears the big show has cried many times but the most prominent times would be whenever the authority mainly stephanie tit fluctuating yeah. man would make him do evil things don't worry big show the feeling is reciprocated we cry when we see you too you <laughs> boring tall man number nine Dang. Vince gets fired oh uh, yeah his on-screen head honcho in 2011 to the dismay of cm punk and to do this he had to fire his father-in-law boss and the majority owner of the wwe vincent kennedy McMahon. Considering Vince treats the WWE like a slightly abused child, I'm not really sure if tears were the appropriate. Response, <laughs> I couldn't do that. I, I just because I like when I. 
I, I'll, I'll need to. But no, it's like, I just want to see what that was about because that must be when they were in NXT. But yeah, it's just like when they like Vince McMahon all like have the wrestlers kiss his butt. I just want like God wouldn't do that. I'm like, man, you're just gonna have to fire me because I ain't I ain't going that far. I I, I won't go that far. I'll be like I'll kick you in the butt, but I ain't going. No, it's it ain't going down like that. Like I got a wife, I got a kids. Like I ain't trying to be going through Remember all that. Bailey and Sasha post Iron Women match. Now I plan to exclude any crying after winning slash defending a title or really after any match in general because it just it it happens too often, you know, it's too predictable. However, Bailey and Sasha get a pass. This would be because they had the first ever Iron Man women's match. I knew that they just oh. stepped up the women's wrestling game a good few steps. That along with the locker room and Triple H coming out with flowers for each of them, they definitely earned their tears. Number 7, Stephanie's Wedding Fiasco. Guys like John Cena and Roman Reigns get a bad rep for being on the fence for fans. Very cross in their eyes. However, in my opinion, Triple H is the definition of this. He was incredibly loved when a part of DX, so he's the first time, during his 2002 run, and nowadays when it comes to NXT and other stuff. Yo, why does that look like, um... What's that guy's name? Uh, Cause he what um he goes with Andy Big Cass. That dude. Let's go back a little bit. That guy looks so like Big Cass during his 2002. Like when they zoomed in, no. all right, maybe like a light. He kind of looks like a like an uh yeah guy that like 90s version of Big Cass. He kind of looks like him. Kind of. classic, but is also incredibly not there when it though. Comes to not the there. Terror or the authority. Yet all that aside, this is one of those times he was very clearly loved. A nice little wedding between Test and Stephanie McMahon interrupted by Triple H with a clip of him marrying Stephanie in the funniest way possible. <laughs> then fucking Triloquism. This led to McMahon tears, a sex joke by Trips, and Stephanie screaming, I hate you. So it was all good, great fun. Number six, Rick Flair. Yeah. God damn it, Rick. Number five, <laughs> Mark Henry's fake <favorite. laughs> Because it was emotional for everybody. Everybody that was watching when he's like, because I watch WrestleMania. I watch WrestleMania 24. And when Sean, when Sean, or yeah, when Sean Michaels, I was going to say Sean McMahon. It was like, they, I'm just hearing way too many of McMahon's names right now. There's like McMahon in every single um, person that he was talking about. But no, when uh, Sean Michaels, when he kicked him across his head and it was like, said, sorry, I love you. And then kicked him. I was like, oh, no. Like, I maybe was watching wrestling for a year at that point, but I was, like, I already grown to it. And I'm like, oh, no. Like, I was like, don't tell me this. No, nah, man. And I'm like, there is – it was sad. It was a sad moment. Then uh, Monday Night Raw, then he retired. Then they were showing, like, I was on YouTube maybe, like, the next year or maybe a few months after that. I can't remember when. But I remember when they were showing, like, uh, Undertaker when he came out. I'm like – when did this happen? I don't remember seeing this. And it was like when Monday Night um, Raw went off the air. I'm like, really now? Just going to wait until I, I got to find out about this like at the last moment? Like, come on now. But, uh, yeah, that was um, that was crazy that Mark Henry's fake retirement. It just, I, I, I just really didn't believe that. I'm like, he... I, it like, a part of me wanted to, but then another part of me, I was like, he could just be playing around. Like, he's probably going to come back maybe a few years or something. Like, every wrestler does. I was like, he's probably going to come back. But it was just like, I I just couldn't, I didn't really believe Tired it. Man. Then when he, uh, I think he clotheslined John Cena or something, and I was just like, yeah, he's, he ain't Henry's going nowhere. And a few weird moments, a few really good stretches. And that's when he had uh, and dreads. A lot, lot of filler in between. Him and Mae Young, weird. Hall of Pain, really good. Could have been better, but really good. Having a hand as a son. One of those really good things he did, though, was his fake retirement in 2013. After teasing on social media and coming out on the June 17th episode of Raw, Henry fooled everyone yeah. by pretending to retire and giving a heartwarming speech, including fake tears and everything, before turning the tables and attacking WWE champion John Cena yeah. and getting a match with him at Money in the Bank, which he might have lost, but this moment was great nonetheless. Number four, Chris Benoit mourns Eddie. I don't like this. Uh, it's really sad, especially yeah. especially with hindsight knowing about Chris Benoit's condition and his mindset. But, but during the tribute to Eddie Guerrero, the camera pans around and Chris Benoit can be seen openly shedding tears on the passing of his best friend. It's really... Yeah, really it's not like you just lost your... Like, cause, see, I see it like this. Those two were like brothers, okay? I didn't grow up, you know, when I was... At the time, I wasn't watching wrestling, but just based off of the stuff that I've heard about the two... You can tell that they was brothers, okay? You can tell that they were, like, 
closest best friends. They were probably the, like, only, like, best friends that was just, you know, they, I don't know if they was, like, rivals at one point, but you could tell that they were, like, the brothers in WWE. Like, they would, if they wasn't best friends, they would have been brothers and stuff. So, it's like, yeah, he would, he lost his friend. Like, and it was like, and I was reading about how, like, when A. Guerrero, it was just so sudden and things, and so I'm like, yeah, it's like, he just lost his best friend, so that probably really sent Chris Benoit in the emotional stage and things, and probably was, um, I don't know, might have been one of the reasons which led to that, um, 2007 accident and stuff, or incident, but, uh, anyways. Wrestling shows that no matter how dumb wrestling might be, each wrestler is a person, and that person yeah. could mean the entire world to someone. Number yeah. three, Savage and Elizabeth's reunion. Yeah. From sad to happy, just in the pop of a Slim Jim. Is it pop or snap? I still don't fucking know. <laughs> Either way, after losing the retirement match against Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7 and having the sensational Sherry literally kick him while he was down, Elizabeth came down to the ring for her man. And they embraced he looked pretty young to, re- I mean, to leave. Like, cause Ric Flair, he was up there in age when he left. I don't know how old... Um, yeah, uh, Savage was when he was leaving, but he it's looked pretty young. one of the most heartwarming and emotional moments in all of WWE history, and while Savage's tears aren't that easy to see, Elizabeth is very visibly tearing up. Number two, HBK loses his smile. Whether you loved this Michaels promo for the sincerity and emotion, or hated it due to the behind-the-scenes context, you can't deny the passion given in Sean's most infamous promo. Giving up the WWF title, Sean cut a long promo and throughout became very teary-eyed and slowly got into real tears. Then fully Dang. cried, but the emotion was clear and wrong. And number one, yeah. I'm sorry, I love you. Sean and Rick again, because influence and all of that. Debatably the most emotional moment in all of WWE's yeah. history. Sean super kicking Ric Flair and retiring him from in-ring action. I'm glad I watched that WrestleMania. That was WrestleMania 24. That was a pretty good... Because that was the first WrestleMania I've ever watched myself. Because uh, I started watching uh, wrestling like maybe like the uh, 2007 Backlash. And that's when... Because uh, it was when um, Batista had speared Undertaker off the stage. And I'm like, okay, that caught my eye fan of this now <laughs> and so yeah when uh this was the very very first wrestlemania actually no i remember i bought wrestlemania 21 on dvd but this was the first one i um i uh ordered on pay-per-view and stuff and so yeah i was uh i'm glad that this was the first one like this will this wrestlemania will always like go down in history as one of my favorite wrestlemanias of all time and things and so yeah i've, I've watched a few wrestling i think there was maybe a couple of wrestlemanias i missed since then and stuff but anyways and putting the 40 plus year career to rest right after giving rick the kayfabe breaking i'm sorry i love yeah. you line he pinned him and dropped down to hug him about as real as it gets and those are the 10 times yeah WWE that was wrestlers cried live on the air what are your thoughts tell us in the comments below and if you like what you saw check out our other work over at spacebound watch sports and of course my personal channel d wicked we'll be doing stuff there eventually just keep it wicked. Keep yourself updated by following us on Twitter at YTWatchWWE. And of course, if you got any emotions out of this video, like the video and subscribe for more fucking wrestling content. Fucking wrestling content. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. <laughs> but yeah, there has been uh, some very, very like emotional. Like, let me know like what I think about Windows 10. I'm using it right now, so I'm honestly liking it. If I would have, if I didn't like it, I'd downgrade it. But anyways. Um, yeah, he was, uh, he was on point with the, uh, with the last one. He was, the last one, definitely, it would be, like, probably the most emotional moment in WWE history and stuff. I don't think anything can ever top that. Like, WWE can try topping it, but I just don't see it happening. Like, I, I, I don't know, like, uh, maybe when, um... No, Shawn Michaels' retirement match. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if he cried. I think he cried the night after. Yeah, I think he did. And, uh, yeah, I think it was because it was the uh, retirement. That was... What WrestleMania was that? Because it was 24, 25. I think that's... Yeah, it was 26. I think it was WrestleMania 26 where he had... um they went up against each other because uh, it was Undertaker and uh, Shawn Michaels. I think that was that last time when they went up against each other and things. And then 25, I think uh, that was the first time and stuff. Dang, I've been... I was like, I came at WrestleMania some good times. Like, <laughs> I watched some pretty good WrestleManias. I'm pretty sure there was better ones before that and stuff. But, um, yeah, it was... Uh, I would say it would probably be that too. Edge, Daniel Bryan... Um, I think John Cena when he he was uh, he had like that little um, retirement gimmick thing, but he didn't. I mean, honestly, he didn't retire. He came back. But I remember when uh, 
I think he lost against Nexus or CM Punk or somebody, or it was Wade Barry. I can't remember who was in charge of Nexus at the time. But um, I think when he lost and then he had to, he did like that little retirement gimmick thing. Or he had to leave or something and then he was crying in the ring or something like that. I don't know. But um, with I wouldn't really say that would be, I mean, it would probably be, you know, a better moment than Big Show. Like Big Show cries over everything. He cried when Rick retired. He cried when he just, he cries like, like I'm telling you, watch Big Show at them, um, at those like Hall of Fame events. I remember there was like a couple of Hall of Fame events. Or I think actually no, it was one, and then because then it was the next night when uh, it was or it was yeah it was the Ric Flair one. He got inducted into the Hall of Fame, and then it was uh, then Sunday WrestleMania, then Monday Monday Night Raw, and he retired. He went out and shook uh, Ric Flair's hand, crying hard. Then had that bruise on his uh, face when uh, Mayweather punched him across the face and things. But I was just all like, dang, Big Show forever crying about something. <laughs> But uh, it was that. But yeah, that was, yeah. WWE then had some of the uh, emotional moments and things. And uh, or what about? Because I think wasn't it WrestleMania 22? Rey Mysterio won the championship, and uh, then he 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 cried out to Eddie and things. I that, that I don't know. I would probably can consider that maybe one of the moments. I think he needs to do a part two to this because I feel like there was more. There had to have been more than just those ten. I feel like there was more. There was some that I named off and didn't even see and hearing things. Maybe they didn't cry. Maybe I just got the whole thing confused and all um, mixed up and things. But uh, it was good. The ones that he did talk about, like it was the most like viral or the most well-known ones and things. So uh, yeah, it was uh, it was good what he was uh, talking about in here. But anyways, make sure you go subscribe to uh, watch WWE and things for more videos like this. They got 120,000 subscribers. Let's get them to 200k. So yeah, make sure you go. Uh, make sure 80,000 uh, whoever's watching subscribe. Make yeah, subscribe to them. Help them uh, get up there and things to uh, that 200k. Then after that, 500, then a million, whatever. I can see it happening and things. So, anyways, and that being said, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you are new, please like and subscribe. And peace.